So I posted a video on TikTok and all I said was it's funny how they want Andrew Tate arrested but didn't have that energy for James Charles. Now, if Andrew Tate did the stuff they say he did, he should definitely be arrested. The way it's looking, it doesn't seem as if he did any of this. I mean, just the evidence that I'm seeing, but I'm not the authority, so I don't know. James Charles guilty. We've seen all of it. He's a fucking pedophile. He was talking to children, young boys. Where was all this energy? He's still on TikTok. He's on Twitter, Instagram. He's on all of the... He's still got all his brand deals. He was literally talking to little boys. And he still has his platform. But Andrew Tate don't. Something suspicious. And that's all I said. I didn't add anything. I didn't say anything crazy. I said, it's funny how they had that energy for Andrew Tate, but didn't have it for James Charles. Not only was the video taken down, but content cannot be restored. As you see, I lost my appeal. Violation reason, hateful ideology. How in the fuck is it hateful ideology to say that y'all want Andrew Tate arrested because you say he's a sex trafficker, etc. But you know that James Charles was talking to little boys and y'all didn't have, where, where's the hateful ideology? This is what I mean about the Alphabet Mafia. You can't say anything about any of their people without automatically being completely banned and shut down. It's fascism and it's bullshit. And now they are protecting child molesters. This is the problem with the internet and what's going on. There are these groups of people that are suppressing everybody who speaks anything out against these people. Meanwhile, they are doing things like this. Content cannot be restored. Now it's crazy because I'm all for gay marriage. Y'all can do whatever y'all want. Y'all call yourselves whatever y'all want, but you're not going to force me to call you anything because that's fascism. And I don't have to call you anything. I don't have to even respect your sexual preferences, but I'm not going to disrespect you, but I don't have to agree with it. That's literally how freedom works. The problem is that they're not holding their own people accountable. When that shit happened, his whole community should have turned their back on him and went against it. By not doing that, by still supporting him, I think he's at like 37, 38 million followers on TikTok. He still has all his branding and everything else. And yet, Andrew Tate is banned from all platforms and hasn't been convicted of anything. Hasn't really done shit wrong, but say some opinions that people don't like. That is not freedom. That is not freedom of speech. You have literal terrorist organizations with Twitter pages. ISIS has a Twitter. You literally have people who speak hate, actual hate speech, clan members, etc. Still online, still got platforms. So why was it so important to ban this guy? Now, don't get me wrong. I don't agree with everything Tate says. Some of the things that Andrew Tate says are complete bullshit. Some of the things he says, though, are real shit. Especially things he says about masculinity, etc. Now, the misogynistic bullshit he says some other times, he definitely says misogynistic bullshit. But is that a reason to be banned from all platforms? Meanwhile, you got James Charles. Shit, you got Tony Lopez. Still up. When the fuck are we going to protect our children? When the fuck are we going to stand up for what's right? Instead of what hurts people's feelings. This is just preposterousness. And this is why I'm going to start making a lot of content on YouTube again. Um, I know I haven't been giving y'all the content as much as I was. I was putting shit out every day and I've really, really been slacking. So I'm going to start putting out content every day again on YouTube, at least every other day. I keep up with the current topics, etc. Y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all share my stuff. I appreciate all of y'all being here. We need to stop this attack on civilized culture. This bullshit that, and it's not, we're not going to say it's all gay people because it's not. There's lots of good gay people. There's lots of people who they might like men or they might like women or whatever their same gender is. They might like both. That's their right. That's how freedom works. And for you to tell them that they can't do that, that makes you a fascist. And that's not what we're going to do right here. What we are going to do is say that they're not going to tell us 
that we have to agree with it or that we have to call a guy a girl or because that's how they want to be called. I don't give a fuck what you want to be called. I want to be called God, God of the universe. Guess what? Nobody's going to call me. Well, some people will call me that, but most people are not going to call me that. And that's just how life works. Your feelings are going to get hurt. People are not going to do what you want to do. No matter how much you cry, no matter how much you scream, that's just not reality. Go drink some tea and sit in the corner, princess, because you're not going to get your way today. That's just how life works.